unto our dear Lord do I give the glory and honor for the sufficiency of his grace upon your life. I am honored to present this episode of the week's word as organized by the North America and Australia Presbytery Youth. My name is Samuel R.G. Otain, and today I speak to you on the theme, Who Am I to Access the Light of the Lord? It is very important for every believer to know not only their stance, but also their identity in the Lord. In the book of 2 Samuel chapter 17, verse 8, King David's question to God was based on the comparison between where he was and how far he has come by the goodness of God. From this point, therefore, the measure of one's identity in the Lord allows for the constant need for us to have an understanding of who we are in the Lord and to assess our relationship with the Lord. We live in a society where out of mankind's wisdom, we have come up with our own idea of who or what a person must be instead of what a person should be in the Lord. And as a result of this, certain things have become normalized in our societies, including things that clearly lead us into darkness, things that fulfill the satisfaction of our societies instead of the satisfaction of God, things that blind us to rather appreciate our acceptance into society instead of the acceptance of our identity in the Lord. Child of God, today my message to you is that Jesus Christ, the light has come. Maybe the enemy has you thinking that everything is over and that all hope is gone. One thing that you must know is that the enemy doesn't have any control over an individual whose image is based on God's template. So even in the moment of darkness, you and I must continue to seek for the light of God. For it is God alone who gives light. And this is confirmed in the creation story from the book of Genesis. The Bible tells us that God spoke everything into existence, including light. He was able to do so because he is the light and because he has power over darkness. Today, I came to inform you that indeed the light of God is available for you and I. That indeed the light of God is available to you and I. And that the light is our only source of hope. The light has come not for any specific individual or not for any specific society. It has come for anyone who believes that their identity is based on the image of God. My prayer for you this month and the rest of the days ahead is that may God defend the presence of his light in your life. May the presence of God's light shut down any thoughts of darkness, shut down any plans of darkness, shut down any actions of darkness that has been raised against your life. And finally, May the light remain with you now and forevermore. The peace of God be with you. Amen.